Welcome to Rocket Rabbit Commentary's playthrough of Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards as emulated on the Nintendo Switch and made possible in full HD. Oh yeah. Or rather as HD as the N64 can provide because you know we're still technically with 480p models. There was once a happy planet. It was shaped like a heart and it was smiling. Where all of the flying denizens were having a good day until all of a sudden, dark the matter showed up. World. Because yeah, this is the this is actually the third game in the dark matter trilogy. The dark matter has engulfed the entirety of uh, of uh, Heart Star. I don't think that's what the planet is called, but. That from this moment on, the planet will remain corrupted. But its true objective was to obtain the Great Crystal of Power. Which you which failed to do by, by shattering it all, uh, all over the galaxy. Precisely. Technically now, solar system, but... It's up to the pop star's favorite hero to reunite the Crystal Shards and banish dark matter from the happy-go-lucky planet once and for all. Mm. Yeah, you don't have any enemy info cards yet, Mr. Cloud. Come on. Oh, look at all these empty spaces. We have, There are a total of 81 enemies in the game. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you have to actually go see the additional movies before you can view them in the theater, Mr. Cloud. Oh, boy, don't we have a lot of empty spaces to fill in. These minigames are not actually all that bad. Uh, specifically, uh, the last one, uh, ends up, uh, yeah, Checkerboard Chase ends up becoming its own, uh, its own uh, micro game later on. I kind of, I kind of like though the, the hopping minigame where you have to, you have to decide to either jump two or one spaces forward, and then depending on your choices and how quickly you make them, you can either keep up in the race. Or fall behind and get tripped up in the hazards because you chose the wrong number of spaces to jump forward. Mm. Oh, come on, Clyde. You know how to use Kirby's copy ability. Uh, I haven't played this game in a long-ass time, so let's have a little tutorial by now having to do the emulation switch control. So now I have to learn what is the switch's version of the B button. I know what down is. Behold, Fire Kirby. This is something. Uh, this is something that going the, in the Crystal Shards the first time always confused the fuck out of me. Kirby doesn't get hats in this game, and it's very, very, uh, and it's very, very iffy that he does not get hats in this game. There is a way that he can indicate without using clothing which abilities that he has active. You have to pay attention to the status bar, and on the bottom right, the status bar has two empty slots mm -hmm. boom now both of those empty slots are filled indicating that we have created a power combination one of the bad po fire, uh, co uh, co power combinations though fire arrow is pretty bad it's uh, it's not as bad as some of the other ones True. trust me so some of them are just downright unusable i think this one actually is also kind of crappy except that you basically have invulnerability as long no, as you're no, going no. Drill forward. is actually really good. It, it's slow, but it's pretty good. I like how Kirby looks like he's just getting dragged along by the drill while mm -hmm. he's going. So Kirby, so Kirby is witnessing the crystal, star, the crystal shard star shower, and then he gets bumped into by Eileen. That that's her name, Eileen. I think her name is Eileen because the paint the painter chick's name is Adele. And so, oh. Kirby mistakenly joins her on her quest to restore the Crystal Shards. I'd love to help you, strange flying friend. After all, this is not the first time he's actually he's been uh, he's been helpful to an, a to an alien from another planet. 
There's so much that you can express with just a big ol' happy smile. And that's what I love about the storytelling in Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. There is no verbal narrative whatsoever. All of the story is told just in cutscenes with no dialogue. Oh, come oh, on, so I Cloud. It is the first level. Do you really need a suspend point here? Let me clear the air, is that yes, I do use suspend points rather liberally. This is an emulation, and this is the technology I have available, and by gum, I'm going to use it if it means that I'm going to have a jolly time getting smacked in the head by fire enemies, because I still am grasping the controls in this game. Okay. One thing that took me the longest time to do is Kirby relinquishing the power and how to complete that process so that you could switch to different powers because it's one thing to get the copy ability that to, to copy the abilities that you want it's another thing to know when to chuck the ability that you have or even send that that eh. yeah you could you could have sent the crystal into the enemy past cloud yeah but do you need failed. double fire this early on come on dude uh, Double Fire is Inferno Kirby Missile. Here, let's see. Oh, 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 jeez. Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. Use your invincibility frames wisely. You get a decent number of them, and if you touch anything while Kirby it, it has invincibility frames, then he is, uh, like a walking power that is unstoppable. Cutter Kirby, where he throws, Kirby takes where his he throws literally half his body at the enemies. Very cute. Yeah, he. I like to. I like to think that he throws his face actually, because if you look closely at the model, he doesn't have a face until he gets the boomerang back. Okay, absorbing powers noted. You have a limited variety of combinations that you can make. Let's try reloading the save point. Now that we have seen that uh, we got a little warming up to do. I'm just a big old walking Kirby. Got something in my mouth. Mm. So uh, this is one of the games that actually has Spike as a as a uh, as a primary power for Kirby, for Kirby, and I personally really dislike Spike in general. But it does get better in other games. In in this game, though, Spike is pretty bad. It's not it's not the worst ability in the game by any, uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but it is pretty bad. And now I believe you've got Fire Sword, right? Yep. The Beam Sword. This is not Beam yeah. Sword. This is Fire Sword. Beam Sword is electric and cutter. Here, here's a sword. Go smack things with it. Uh, this place looks pretty intimidating. Mm. So, um, uh, Kirby 64, be, uh, because of its very, u uh, because of its very u unique uh, uh, power-up system, actually uh, has a decent number of moves for most of the uh, for, for most of the actual good powers in the game. For example, Fire Sword's got your basic swing attack, but it also has the ability to throw the sword. Um, and that makes it honestly significantly more useful than about half of the abilities in the game. I dislike the power system in Kirby in, in that Kirby 64 specifically because you end up you end up really wanting specific powers, and then the game will force you to have other specific powers instead. However, in this instance, we actually have a very a very good power in Double Cutter. This thing, la uh, double cutter, lasts for a, gr a great deal of time and distance, and you know you can hit uh, enemies multiple times with it. It's very nice, which is very important in this game because bosses, well, have uh, variable HP. Lots and lots of HP. The, the, we that boss uh, had enough health to endure a second and then die on the third strike. So the boomerang hits once going out. And then the boss runs out of invincibility frames, just in time for the boomerang to come back. You all, you will also learn very quickly which enemies have no abilities whatsoever, and that they are just obstacles in your path. Like, uh, like this uh, angry-looking Buzzy, for example. It is Bronto Burt. Watch out for the cannons, because just like in other Kirby games, cannons cannot be destroyed. Are you actually going to go for a majority of the star points? 
I this is this is a one hundred percent playthrough. Yes, I, I do I do get but the star final. Points are, but star bar, points aren't bar. actually aren't actually tallied. Oh, I'm sorry, I had that confused with uh, crystal shards. Okay. Um, uh, the, yes, the the star points the the points that eventually if you get fifty of them you get a you get a one up. Uh, those you are allowed to miss at your leisure, but definitely try to rack up as many as you can. As you as you take damage and maybe die because you take too much damage or you fall into a pit, the game is going to remember the number of star points you have. And the star points also carry over from level to level. Hmm, how do I get... Th oh, darn it, I, 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 I screwed it up. It's all right, Kirby. You got lots of second chances. Mm. This uh, this game is really forgiving for new players. Hence, I am basically behaving like a new player at this point. Uh, I mean, it is it is forgiving uh, to a certain extent, but uh, here's where we're actually starting to see one of the, uh, one of the games uh, more contentious uh, uh, parts of it, where you actually need specific powers in order to get all the crystal shards in the level. Oh, come on, don't you like puzzle solving? I do like puzzle solving, but there are several times in the game, uh, uh, I, I'm not entirely sure if it's several, but I think it's at least two instances in the game where if you uh, you have to come uh, into a level with a specific power and hold it for the entire level in order to, in order to get a crystal shard. Indeed, that can get challenging. Mm. Here, let's ease the difficulty in this, the first major boss of the game. You you cannot call Waddle Do a major boss, dude. Come on. Oh, what's that behind me there? I love the crystal. I love crystal. Oh, no! Help me! <laughs> I love the shaky cam effect on that. So, Bandana Waddle D, and yes, this is supposed to be Bandana Waddle D, has become. Waddle Do! Waddle C, Waddle Do! He's gonna run right into you. Mm, so here we have missile, which is honestly one of the better long range, uh, long range uh, attack cards that Kirby gets access to in the game. To be perfectly honest, um, most of the Obama combination powers are actually really good. I think there's only there's only a couple that I actually actively dislike, and I think one of them is lightning rod. But nah. Eh. No, you, I, you might be you might be thinking of light bulb. That's um, that's electric and bomb. That I don't really care for the light bulb. Okay. Oh, uh, Kirby turns into a light bulb and he walks around, and he can't be he he will destroy anything that he touches. However, he can't uh, actually no he do, he is at liberty to jump, which is cool. And in the next part, we're gonna explore even more of Popstar. <laughs>